now the third modality of treatment for the stones in the kidney is the rirs so this is uh, of late the most uh, recent advancement in management of kidney stones uh, and what is the indication for this rirs so this is usually reserved for patients who have stones uh, less than 2 cm uh, people who have undergone esw well in the past but Uh, they have failed after multiple sessions multiple shock waves these people uh, can be subjected to rirs now this, what is rirs it is the retrograde intrarenal surgery so this is the uh, latest upcoming and advancement wherein uh, the kidney is approached through the normal urinary passage so uh, the, there are instruments which are available which can be introduced directly into the kidney so the patient has got no external cuts and then no stitches no external uh, surface wounds any chances of bleeding are little less so the kidney is directly approached uh, through the normal urinary passage using a flexible retroscope flexible retrorhinoscope directly we go inside the kidneys and then we lay the stones now there are uh, instances of wherein uh, uh, the textbook literature says that um, the stones up to 2 cm only are the indications for rirs um now there are uh, people and even myself i have uh, I performed the stones up to 3 to 3.5 cm with rirs and now the only uh, exception in this case is that you may have to take at least two stages to clear the stone the very much advantage of this procedure is that patient is back home the next day and uh, the hospitalization is only a day uh, chances of bleeding as i explained in pcnl is uh, minimal uh, the pain post operative is very less so rirs is uh, one of the latest uh, innovations in the management of kidney stones the patient can be discharged uh, within 24 hours so he can be discharged uh, today he is operated next day he can be back home also the getting back to work in endoscopic uh, laser procedures uh, is very fast so once i finish an rirs uh, the patient is discharged the next day and uh, i if he, um, if he is a uh, if he is a uh, techie taking the sense he is uh, not a hard manual worker i recommend them to start the work on the third day itself so that is one uh, dominant advantage of uh, laser urology uh, wherein the patient get back gets back to work in 3 days patients have a stent after the procedure because we have to keep it uh, as a safety measure after the procedure uh, if the patients have a stent kept after the procedure uh, the patients usually have some sort of stent related uh, discomfort when they pee so that is quite um, uh, adjustable and uh, it will not hamper their day to day activities uh, so the only thing what they uh, complain post operatively is the stent related discomfort which can be managed by the medications so in a nutshell uh, the recovery is faster in laser endoscopic procedure uh, we can say around, around 3 days 72 hours they can be back 